Shortly after the Social Democratic Front Party announced the death of their party chairman and main opposition leader of Cameroon, mourners have been trooping into his Tamarincon residence to pay tribute to the man they also called father and husband. so if it they worry we because he live with a road, he not complete the journey. Because we know say by all means he go complete the journey when he start up. He make we, we get freedom of speech, but now we don't know how we do. You think not about worrying it because we pan now pan. Since we have been widow for 2003, I can't join the vanguard. I don't know me say my man don't die. Because part day for me like my pap and my husband. In 1990, Nijan Frundi was one of those who launched the SDF party. He was later put under house arrest and then shot at because of his political beliefs on the way forward for Cameroon as a nation. He was somebody who wanted Cameroonians to live a better life. And that's why he stood up wherever he was to call for the present head of state, that is President Paul Bia, to walk the right way that Cameroonians would benefit and offer Cameroonians to suffer. Other vanguards like me, with whom were in the company here at that time, they will also testify what powers to us. It was to us like a father, like I mean. He never allowed us to sleep with hunger. In the wake of the Anglophone crisis, Nijon Fundi was kidnapped twice by separatist fighters. His Babatu residence was burned to ashes in October 2018, while an attempt was made at burning his Tarincon residence, yet he stood for dialogue as a way of ending the armed conflict in the northwest and southwest regions. He died in Yaoundé at the age of 82.